state television company Westerner Minya represents the most important events of these days. Today's broadcast. Support to the state television company of Western Armenia. Today is the first anniversary of Samvel Karapetyan's death, 33 years after the Sumgate massacres. Training centers have been opened in Khalvet and Gogashen villages of Javak. Climate bomb found in Arctic. The construction of an Armenian church has started in Lutsk, Ukraine. Today is the 161st birthday anniversary of Vartkes Surenyans. The state television company of Western Armenia does not deal with private advertising. It is considering the possibility of strengthening its English language section. The origins of British people are not only very ancient, but are also closely linked to the history of the Armenians. The British Empire was one of the four allied states that they were recognized the Armenian state in the territory of Western Armenia and signed the Treaty of Severs in 1920. This feature is of great importance in the field of communication and information, informing about the connections that can unite and maintain relations between peoples of Mushal origin. Supporting Western Armenia TV means that millions of Armenians will have the opportunity to meet again and to share a sense of belonging that has deep roots in their hearts. Today, on February 27, is the first anniversary of the death of Samvel Karapetyan, the founder and president of the Yerevan Office of Research on Armenian Architecture Foundation, monument expert and one of the founder members of the National Council of Western Armenia. Rest in peace, dear teacher. Your work continues. The Azerbaijani authorities began the extermination of the Armenian population on February 27, 1988, in the town of Sumgait, not far from Baku accompanied by robbing and destruction of Armenian property. Under the conditions of silence of the USSR leadership, many people were injured and killed during the three days of massacres. Some were tortured to death whose bodies were burnt. The aim of this crime against the Armenian nation was to prevent the Artsakh movement by intimidating Armenians with the prospect of new bloody actions in order to prevent the spread of the Artsakh liberation struggle. The aftermath of the three-day massacre was terrible. According to official data, 32 Armenians in Sumgait were killed after being tortured and beaten, while unofficial data informed about more than 1,000. The Azerbaijani authorities have never condemned the Sumgait massacres or expressed regret over ethnic cleansing. On the contrary, Azerbaijan presents itself as a victim, presenting the struggle for the survival of the people of Nagorno-Karabakh as an encroachment, grossly distorting the facts, and the perpetrators of the genocide against the Armenians remain unpunished up to this day. The Akhilkalaki Development Group, with the establishment of youth educational and digital centers in Akhilkalaki project, in the framework of the Smart Villages Initiative, has established youth educational centers in the villages of Khavet and Gogashen. Akhilkalaki Municipality of Javak, JNews.ge website reports. The Akhilkalaki Development Group has selected Khavet and Gogashen villages for the project as they are far from Akhil Kalaki. As these villages are very far from Akhil Kalaki, we decided to create facilities there so that young people, adults, teachers and farmers can conduct online trainings. We have acquired the sets so that the youth center will operate fully, program manager Sergei Khachatrian mentioned. Innovative training centers have been established in schools of the villages. Each village received four computers, a TV, tables, chairs, etc. The trainings were held in two languages, Armenian and Georgian. Lessons of Georgian and English were also held. Scientists from the University of Washington, Los Alamos National Laboratory and the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration have found that the freshwater content of the Arctic Ocean has increased by 40% in the last two decades. According to Nature Communications, the penetration of fresh water into the Atlantic Ocean could have a catastrophic effect on the global climate. According to scientists, the accumulation of fresh water occurs due to the melting of Arctic ice. Fresh water is currently on brackish water and is preserved on the surface by winds in the Beaufort Sea, creating something like a water dome. If the winds weaken, fresh water will seep into the North Atlantic, including the Labrador Sea. This, in turn, will affect large ocean currents in the Atlantic Ocean as well as the circulation of cold and hot waters. Currently, the volume of fresh water in the Beaufort Sea is twice as much as last year, and is 23,000 cubic kilometers. Although, the exact impact of such a freshwater bomb on the Atlantic is impossible to predict, scientists believe it will have a significant impact on the climate of the entire Northern Hemisphere. The construction of an Armenian church has started in the town of Lutsk, Volyn, Ukraine. As Armen Press reported, referring to analytica.ua.net, 
the city council has allocated a plot of land for building a church on the initiative of the Armenian community of Volin region. According to the head of the Armenian community in the Volin region, Nushan Antonian, they started building the church in 2014, but they received the land only in 2019 due to various factors and immediately started the construction work. The president of the Union of Armenians of Ukraine, Vilen Shatvoryan, has made the first payment for the church, for which we are grateful to him. It should also be noted that it took a long time to plan the project and to prepare for the construction work, Antonia said. The founder of Armenian national historiography, Vartkes Surenyans, was born in Akhaltsha in 1870 in a family of a priest. When in Moscow, Surenyans had an opportunity to study at the Armenian Lazarian school located in the city. In 1876, he furthered his education at the Moscow School of Painting, Sculpture and Architecture. Surenyans went to Munich, Germany, where he studied architecture at the Academy of Fine Arts, receiving more education in painting. Knowing ten languages, Surenyans studied the art and literature of different nations. After returning from Munich, Surenyans took part in a scientific expedition to Persia. Surenyans lived, created and worked under a foreign sky, but was connected with his native people with his soul and his whole essence. In his paintings, he showed the heroic past of the Armenian people, the present and the future, its revolt and hope, its suffering and faith, its immortality. He painted canvases with eastern themes under the impressions of his scientific expedition to Persia. It is difficult to find a field in fine arts Surenyans wasn't involved in. He is not only a great painter but also a talented book designer, a famous theatrical painter, a skilled art theorist, translator, architect, sculptor and public figure. He also painted landscapes and portraits. Surenyans is also the author of the frescoes of the Armenian church in Yalta. Bartke Surenyans died on April 6, 1921 in Yalta. Now we present you Chem Zurni Tarangi by Kilikia Ensemble. version is available on the official website of Western Armenia TV. This was all for today. Goodbye.